All right, Padres, they get the win, first win of the season, and 15 to 11 was the final score. This reminded me of that Mexico City series where I think the Padres dropped like 16 runs on the Giants. Uh, it was nuts. Now, that was a bunch of home runs in Mexico. This was not, but it was a huge home run for Manny, and I wish that I was like live, had a live reaction of me on the couch watching that home run. You could tell right off the bat, and I immediately had the fist pump, was super pumped up about that. So it, it's good to win, especially when you have some Dodger fans and some MLB accounts that are like, Dodgers on pace for 162-0. Well, you guys can shut up now. Uh, Padres, same record as the Dodgers. Dodgers have all the drama going on right now. Uh, did Musgrove pitch the best? No. Did he go long? No. It was underwhelming. Um, some Padres fans would say it was underwhelming from Darvish as well because he didn't go long. Some fans were expecting like six innings from Darvish and Musgrove. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. It's March 20th. It's March 21st. That just wasn't going to happen. Um, but hey, this is one of those where, like the Mexico series, like this is where I draw the comparisons. Just get out with the win somehow. Like at this point, like I don't care what the pitching performances were like, especially when a game's 15 to 11, like just get out with the win find a way you know Robert Suarez pumping 100 there to close it out like that's great and when you get back to the United States and it's March 28th that's when it's like all right let's you know start having quality starts here start performing better but here it's like just get a split now we can go into Fan Fest the Peter Seidler Memorial opening day we can go into that being one and one and not oh and two I don't know about you guys but it feels a lot better to be one and one than to be 0-2, obviously, you know, with the long flight for the guys back to San Diego. But this offense, five runs off of Yamamoto in one inning, it sucks. You know, I'm not going to act like I watched this entire game. Um, I am truthful with you guys. That's just who I am as a fan. I set my alarm for 1 o'clock in the morning. The game started at 3 a.m., so I thought I was good. And I end up sleeping until, like, 5 a.m., almost 5 a.m., I believe. It was 4-something when I woke up. And there was no alarm that went off. I remember going to bed, and I saw the alarm thing next to the, the percent battery on my iPad. And the volume was turned up just like normal. Nothing went off. So, yeah, I was a little pissed off that I woke up. And I was happy that the Padres had the lead at, the po at that point, but... I'm trying to watch the entire game. Like, I'm a dire Padres fan, and so that sucks. But I guess that was just a, a message that my body needed the sleep, I guess, because it's been an interesting last few days. Or if, I guess we could go back to the Sunday exhibition game where that was early as well, and I, and I was up early for that, and I stayed up late for that second exhibition game. So maybe that was just a sign that I should have just kept sleeping. Um, but, hey. I'm glad that they got the win. Jake Cronenworth barreled some balls in this game. Luis Camposano, same thing. Jackson Merrill almost hit a home run. Like, this guy, it looks like he is not phased by any big leaguer. Doesn't matter who he's facing. It was spring training, and people were like, well, it's spring training, and me included. Let's wait to see what happens in the season. It's only two games, so I don't want to freak out, but it's been a very good start in my opinion, for Jackson Merrill. Looks like he's good. Um, and, and then, obviously, the Manny home run was huge. Camposano coming through. I mean, if you compare the production yesterday to today with the top of the order, there, like, is no comparison. It's not even close. Um, the big guys yesterday, a lot of guys went over, right? But today, Bogarts, two hits, three runs scored, two RBIs. Tatis, two hits, two runs scored, an RBI. Cronoworth, four for four day, like shout out massive to him. Obviously, with the whole glove thing yesterday, that sucked. Um, four for four, two runs scored, four RBIs there for him. Manny, one for four, two runs scored, huge three run home run uh, to blow things open. I know Kim went 0 for four, but Camposano, three hit day, two RBIs, two runs scored. Sorry if the phone's shaking. I don't have a sweatshirt on and it's cold outside. Um, Tyler Wade even I mean that's when I was watching back during this game um, that first inning 
And you know that Yamamoto didn't have it when Tyler Wade, like no disrespect to Tyler Wade, but you're not Manny Machado. I think he knows that. When you're smacking balls, it's 92, you know, uh, middle in, and he's smacking balls to, to right field. Like Yamamoto just didn't have it. I don't know if that's what we're going to see from Yamamoto in this entire contract, but right now, I'm glad the Padres don't have Yamamoto $325 million. Like, that's the risk the Dodgers took when you sign Yamamoto to that huge contract before he'd ever pitch in the big leagues. Now, it's the Korea Series. It's his first start in the big leagues. He's going to get better. I'm not saying that he's going to suck this entire contract. But does maybe Scott Boris have a point when you should go after Blake Snell or go after more of a an experienced guy? then give $325 million to Yamamoto? Maybe. Long game. Yesterday, it was dark out when I did this. Right now, it's the sun is rising. It's getting light out. Uh, it's cold out, obviously, as you can see from my phone shaking, so I apologize for that. But, man, what did this series show? And I'll discuss this more if I do a show tonight. I probably will. Um, it showed that the Padres... There's pitching talent. I think we saw that. It showed that there's talent offensively, for sure. It also showed that there's going to be games where they can come up cold. And so there's that question mark. This reminded me, like this series here, right? 2023, kind of, right? Where offense doesn't do enough with runners in scoring position. It sucks one game. It's sad. But then the next game, they go... The offense looks like they're the best offense on the planet, right? So, I mean, the inconsistency in this series, it happened. It was there last year, so hopefully it's more consistent in 2024.